were saying that uh, part of me started wondering if, if that is just us being vain. Like, have you ever noticed that everybody aspires for fulfillment of life, but uh, culturally speaking, that's very American. Right. Most yeah. most cultures are, you know, I have certain obligations and those trump desires. Right. You know, like, like I guarantee you, parents are the same way. Your parents are not thinking, do I fulfill, fulfill? Does my kids need food? Yeah. My kids need a roof? Yeah. My wife, this, their dad's probably saying, my wife needs this. You know, why are you, your mom is thinking my husband needs that. Yeah. Right? And so, would you say that this is an American culture of, what I need in my life to fulfill my desire, my fulfillment? Or is that like a eternal existential issue right. for everybody? I mean, you know, I, I like that you, that, you, that you said that because I'm going to segue a little bit. That's part of, that's actually one of the main reasons why I don't want to get married or have kids. Because it requires sacrifice that I don't know I can make. You get me? Like, like my mom and dad... They have to, right? They, they At this point, it's like, yo, like, I have to, you know, do X, Y, and Z. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we have a kid, we have kids, you know, we have to provide for them, food. Like, all those things that you said, you know. When you start a family, your needs, your desires become the back not even yeah. secondary. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. I mean, they're just, you know, like, is my family good? You know what I mean? Like, that. that's what you focus on. Um, I think that, I like that you said that because it is selfish. You get me? When you're trying to be fulfilled in a way is selfish but if I think about it if you you know you can be fulfilled and still take care of your family of course you know what I mean you, you can you might, even people might even say that you'll be better off because you're a better person for them exactly like you, you exactly that makes perfect sense you know um but okay but to kind of come back to your question though are you saying is it like in the American dream right yeah because because a lot of times, if, if, you know, you, you we were especially like you had a, we had a Korean tourist this week, right. you know, and they kept talking about how as a family she did this and as a family, yeah, 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 you know, she things. it wasn't it, she didn't sound like I do this. Yeah, it's yeah. we do. We do. It's an American vocabulary, uh, you know, and it's funny because even in the word America, at the center of it all is I. I. Yeah. Right. And that's the American vocabulary. Is how do I feel? How do I want to approach this? You know, but a very culture, all the cultures, Hispanic, Asian, or whatever, it's very we centered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you think American dream is is killing the the idea of me fulfilling somebody else's goals? Uh, so okay, so this is the thing. the the whole The whole thing about the American dream is to be able to come to a country where you have all these freedoms and whatnot, mm -hmm. right? And be able to to come from nothing and be something, right? Like you know, we hear it all the time, right? You have immigrants that came to this country. With zero dollars in their pocket, mm -hmm. with two dollars in their pocket, and they've made millions of dollars because of the opportunities that this place is give, right? That's what I've always seen the American dream to be, right? The American dream is like flashed off as you know, you have the crazy dope car, the dude, super nice house in the hills, the right? That that's that's what the American dream is, right? Like that's what everybody tries to sell, whatever. That's what keeping up with the Joneses is, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, yeah. you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. You're trying to, like, have the nicest things, you know, because the Joneses have the best of the best, right? Um, I think the American dream is bullshit, and to be completely honest with you, because the thing is that people, all of those things that we that we ch chase is for a reason. You get me? Fulfillment. Fulfillment is, like, happiness. Yeah. You get me? That's, that's basically mm -hmm. how I see it. Um, and the reason why it's bullshit is because those things are never going to really fill you and bring joy to you and bring peace to you. They never will. And you're going to, for the rest of your life, chase that. You get me? So, I, I can see it's two ways, right? If you're a person that believes in God and, you know, all of that stuff, I feel like that's the ultimate fulfillment, right? Like, with that, you just have this peace um, when you just have that tight relationship, right? Um, if you choose whatever you, if you're not in that realm, is there relationships that you have with people anyway? So at the end of the day, it comes down to people, it comes down to relationships. Mm -hmm. You get me? That's fulfilling. You know what I mean? Like, look, it's cool. You can have a house in the hills, right? And nice cars and all this money and stuff. But like, you know, when you want to just chill and go to the movies, you're going to call up a girl, bunch of girls and go, you can do that. Sure. You get me? I don't know if you're Dan Bilzerian and you want to do that and that's going to fulfill you for the rest of your life. I don't know if it will. Cool. Um, at least for me, I just think that at the end of the day, it's all about relationships. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? It's about people. You can have all this money in the world and all of these things, but it's who you experience them with that matters. You know, happiness is already inside of you. 
Like, you you choose to be happy every single day, you get me? Mm-hmm. I said something a while back, like, oh, you know, you, we're searching for happiness, we're searching for happiness, and you're like, like, no, like, you have it inside, and it's so true, like, it's, people search for happiness in other people, you get me? Like, they get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, because you make me happy, I want to be with you. That's wrong. Like, you should be happy, period, you get me? Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know, all of these people that we have in our lives, they may add, you get me? They may mm-hmm. give, like, steroids to this happiness or whatever, but... You should be happy with yourself, you get me, with who you are as a person, with who you are mentally, how far you've gotten in life, like, you know, that's what should bring you happiness. It's not these material things, like, real, that's so real, like, at the end of the day, look, you gotta think of it like this, people are worrying too much about their bank account, they don't worry enough about the funeral, right? Now, some people might be confused, like, wait, what do you mean? Okay, well, look, it's a very simple, very simple concept I heard, um, like, it the Gary one, the Gary V one. Like more than half a year ago, he said, if you worry about the people, the amount of people that will come to your funeral, you get me? Because you've impacted their lives, you've said things to change, you said things to feel, you said things to cry, you said things to set emotion, mm-hmm. you get me? To build a connection. At the end of the day, those things add up to your bank account anyways, you get me? Like, it's, it's the real thing that really matters. The you real worth. When you're dying, cool. All these, like, and again, people people could watch this right now and be like, oh, you're just saying that because you're broke, you know, you're in the hood, you don't know what you're talking about. You're right, I don't. I'm not rich or nothing, right? Nowhere near it. So maybe, you know, you might have something else, but from what I've heard from a bunch of rich people and from a bunch of, you know, like people, like, you know, out in, online mm-hmm. and stuff, like this stuff, like, it really doesn't make you happier. It adds on yeah. to certain things. You know what I mean? Like, it just... Money, all of this money, it'll add on. Yeah, if you're miserable, yeah. you're going to be even more miserable. Yeah, it accentuates whatever you're facing. Exactly. So, you know, all of these little things, um, you know, you just need to realize all these little things don't matter. You know I mean, you need to, like, look in the mirror and be like, are you happy with who you are? And that's what should bring you happiness. Everything that you do should accentuate that. You know I mean? So, the amount of people that come to your funeral, the kind of people that are there... Because you did X, Y, and Z, that matters more than, oh, I got to get my paper, I got to get my paper, I got to get my paper. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That, that's what matters. and Because at the end of the day, that's what you remember for. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, like, look, Steve Jobs, right? He's remembered for Apple. But as a human being, from what I've heard, I'm going to see Jobs first, a bad human being, blah, blah. He wasn't a good dad. You know, that's that's your legacy. Obviously, your legacy is Apple, where you left. Cool. You know what I mean? Like, you know, mm-hmm. technology, all of that stuff is cool. But you as a person... You didn't leave, you know, you might not care about it.